Welcome to Really American. I am Michael Hayne. Now, this past Sunday, one of Trump's biggest cucks, Lindsey Graham, who I believe was actually Trump's poodle. There's been a lot of criticism that Trump never owned a dog, and I think that's simply untrue. He had Lindsey Graham. Anyway, Lindsey, the ever so masculine, ever so decidedly not deep in the closet, <laughs> MAGA senator, appeared on CNN where he danced and jived and spinned and did everything he possibly could to defend his boyfriend, Donald Trump. There are actual people out there with mental impairments, right. and that's insulting to them. Second of right. all, Vice President Kamala Harris is not mentally impaired. No, I just think she's crazy liberal. I don't question her. Uh, but what, 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 what do you think about that rhetoric? I, I just think the better course to take is to prosecute the case that her policies are destroying the country. They're crazy liberal. 400,000 people. Well, I do declare I'll say anything at all to make sure my Lord and Savior, Donald Trump, doesn't let the people know about my real identity. Crazy? Liberal? You mean like sensible, moderate policies? Policies that would be considered almost like right of center like 20 years ago? Um, you mean she's not talking about like the purge, like violently removing millions and millions of people. And now Lindsay is such a sucker for public humiliation. And he's so desperately clinging to relevancy that during this interview on the state of the union with Jake Tapper, he attempted to do what they all do what all the Trumplicans do and paint this exaggerated, totally fictitious picture of Joe Biden's president, excuse me, President Biden's handling of immigration, accusing the Biden administration of releasing hundreds of thousands of so-called dangerous criminals, you know, like dangerous criminal is the one he's worshiping, Donald Trump, into the U.S., apparently highlighting these grossly inflated numbers of violent offenders among them. But now the good part is, and again, mainstream media, this is your job. This is what you're paid unnecessarily amount to do. You fact check these clowns. And apparently, that's exactly what Jake Tapper did. Let's take a look. 400,000 people have been let loose in our country. 16,000 people convicted of being a rapist. 13,000 convicted murderers. And 400,000 people generally convicted of crimes were released on her watch. It's not going to get okay. better. So I saw that statistic. We dove into it, our fact yeah. checker. That statistic is actually over decades. So some of those people you're talking about are people that came into the country during Trump. And second of all, some of them are in prison. The, the, a lot of the, them are in prison, no, uh, for no, no. not ICE prisons, but federal prisons for I, their, I for their crimes. I can tell you this. The man who killed Lake and Riley in Georgia was released by the Biden-Harris administration on parole because they had no capacity at the border to hold him. That's not a reason to parole people. I promise you they're men... Women have been raped and murdered. People have been hurt by illegal immigrants released into this country without detention. It is a nightmare. So much bullshit, so little time. Isn't it like kind of creepy how they're just so desperately trying to be like Trumpy Dumpty? You know, it's almost kind of like when a young kid tries to like mimic his dad and dress up in his clothes. Oh, shit, they're doing that too. Damn, there is no fixing that cult. Anyway, I'm glad that the mainstream media did its role and actually called out this bullshit. But let's take it up a notch and review some of the more recent outrageous lies when it comes to immigration. And with Trump fear of immigrants. Ironically, immigration is how modern America was built, right? Both during and after slavery, someone had to replace all that free labor and immigrants fit the bill. Most of us here today, unless you are indigenous American, come from a family of immigrants. And yet, there's always been resistance by the old immigrants to the new people. There was the Know Nothing Party of the 1850s, the America First Nazi Curious movement in the 1930s. And now we have Donald Trump, who has decided to make fear mongering about immigration the center of his entire campaign, with fascistic rhetoric like promising the largest mass deportation operation in history and promising it would be a bloody story spreading racist lies about immigrants eating people's pets, and even talking about giving immigrants serial numbers, Nazi style. At this point, his entire plan is trying to scare people into voting for him, 
despite two of his three wives being immigrants. And just to remind you, as we talk about this, border crossings are actually down to the lowest levels in four years. Violent crimes also way down across the country. And everything you hear on right-wing media to suggest otherwise is a lie. There is no migrant crime wave. Immigrants actually commit fewer crimes than people born in the U.S. They also don't eat pets. But the facts don't matter to Trump. Instead, he just keeps ramping up the rhetoric more and more every day. Here's what he said today at what was supposed to be a speech about the economy in Michigan. These are killers. These are people at the highest level of killing that cut your throat and they won't even think about it the next morning. A lot of gang members, they take their gangs off the street. Like in Caracas, Venezuela, the criminals have all been brought to the United States. She let our American sons and daughters be raped and murdered at the hands of vicious monsters. She let American communities be conquered. They're conquering your communities. We have to get them the hell out of our country because they've ruined, I mean, they're ruining the Yes, I believe it's actually a fact that Donald Trump commits more crimes than actual immigrants do. And yes, it's also a fact that Donald Trump rapes more women than immigrants do. I believe it was him who was felt liable for rape with the Eugene Carroll case. And also, who are the thugs? Oh, they were the ones on January 6th. Those vile, despicable maggot trash. Now, I would love nothing more than to deport Trump tards, but what country would take them? In fact, I believe China is no longer accepting our trash. Anyway, let's take a look at this so-called exaggerated claims with regards to violent crimes going up and being committed. According to ABC News, like other claims the former president makes, his stories of what he calls migrant crime can be heavily skewed, exaggerated, and fuel a baseless narrative. Trump's anecdotal accounts do not acknowledge the fact that U.S. citizens commit crimes at a higher rate than undocumented immigrants. Quote, relative to undocumented immigrants, U.S.-born citizens are over two times more likely to be arrested for violent crimes, 2.5 times more likely to be arrested for drug crimes, and over four times more likely to be arrested for property crimes, according to a 2020 study in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. So, Lady Graham Lindsay, you may want to up your game or Trumpy Dumpty's going to cast you aside like he does to all of his lapdogs he no longer has use for. But thanks to Jake Tapper for actually live fact-checking, Lindsay. Anyway, I am Michael Hain. This is Really American. Please subscribe to our channel and check me out on TikTok at Mike Hain Comedian. Talk to you later.